Oh shit. Watch me fall asleep. Okay, so it's like. Whoa, whoa, whoa. It's either really late or really early, and my neighbors are still playing music. So, uh. I tried to find some unlicensed stuff that I can listen to in the background. Just kind of drowned out a little bit, so if you hear some fancy ass music, I've got uh, Claire de Lune playing in the background because I'm, I'm gonna be honest, I'm not big on classical music, and it's one of the ones I like. Um, <laughs> his last name is De Plessis, but um, yeah, no, uh, Lacrimosa goes hard. <laughs> So I'd rather be listening to that, and I think the version I have only is like six minutes long, and I don't know how long this is going to take. <sighs> so, uh, some of you are asking to see some of my old work of, um, of Zachariah, and I know I have, like, several, like, photos of paintings I've done, but I cannot find any of them. I know for a fact that one of them is in a cedar crate in an unheated warehouse somewhere in Missouri. But I literally do not have time to unpack that right now. So you're not gonna see it. Mm. I haven't done any warm-up drawings. So this is probably gonna be kind of messy. Oh, that's annoying. Oh, gosh, I almost really like slammed that piano. Anyhow, ignore my tiny weird little frog hands. For those of you who don't know what I'm talking about, I um, made a post on my blog a while ago about, um, I hope you can hear me, about Zachariah. And uh, you know, I was an edgy little emo teen instead of an edgy little emo adult. I, um, I used to draw a lot of pictures of him. Sort of like, not really an imaginary friend, but just, you know, Van Gogh had his skulls and cigarettes and I had my guy, you know? Just something familiar that felt good. And what he looked like in my head was, it was a human skull, sort of narrow, long teeth, and antlers, like a deer. And the skull kind of hovered in like this puff of smoke coming off of a stump neck and a man's torso, and he wore not gold, but like bright, like nice, like ochre kind of yellow robes. I don't usually, people don't, mm. I'm not used to talking while I draw. But I'll try and make this fast. I haven't posted a video in a while, I've been, um, I've been out of the country. I don't get to travel often, so I was kind of jumping at it. And I do want to keep making videos. I don't know what kind of video I want to make yet, but I've got a lot of stories I want to tell. So hopefully I'll <laughs> get out of my box and actually tell a few. I haven't told my family about my uh, my blog or my, um, my videos yet. I don't want them. I don't know. I'm just not ready for that. Some of you may know me in person. If you do, hi. Every time I draw skulls, they're a little lopsided. Like, I don't know what it is. Like, right up here, I always get it, like, perfect. And then if I cut out the paper and flip it, it's always, like, on this side. But what you gonna do? My skull's wonky, too. It's okay, bud. The antlers were, like, right here. I hate drawing torsos. Men are shaped weird. I'm nervous, so I'm talking a lot again. I talk a lot when I'm not nervous, too. I think I just talk a lot. Like, as a person. Although, if I could blame it on something, I did live alone for a while. I was, um, there was this old abandoned apartment that my parents bought when they took over an old business. 
and they told me I could live there as long as I kept it clean and maintained it and made sure nobody broke in. So it was just me with a baseball bat. In the winter, there was no heat or uh, running water. There's no running water in the summer either, but in the winter, it was fucking cold. Pardon the French. And um, so I just, uh, that whole winter, I just had one little space heater and I would curl up in bed. And for like three months, all I did was, oh, I'm glad I have that smoke light. All I did was, um, was uh, redo my whole art portfolio. <laughs> And it was worth it. I mean, I got some really good stuff out of it and some really good practice, but I think I, I went a little bit nuts for a bit. And uh, just kind of got used to talking out loud or talking to the cats. Downstairs, there was a really huge, like leftover from the, the previous owners, just a painting of Jesus. And I'd just go down there and I'd lay on a bench and I'd talk to my boy, JC. I don't know if I'm religious, but... Um, I don't know, you do what you can. Oh, the music goes. Okay, we're back. Life is good. I hope you can still see. I'm not. Hmm. If you see feet, don't be weird about it. Yep. Yeah. Okay, okay, we're good. doing all right. I don't normally draw this big. But like my art teacher, who was awesome, kicked ass. Someday I'll, well, I might get permission to use his name, but um, he always used to make us like really push our boundaries. And his thing for me was making me paint bigger and bigger and bigger because he knew I hated it. Not like hated it, it's just, you know, out of your comfort zone, right? I haven't drawn in so long. It's been a while. I have, um, I've got three jobs right now. And um, I've got nothing to complain about. They pay fairly well. And I like my coworkers. So what more could you want? But I'm tired all the time. And I don't I don't sleep well, I wake up a lot, so I'm tired all the time anyway, but can you do? What are arms? I don't know what I want to do with his arms. I used to always sort of see him holding them up and like, I don't know, weird signs, but... This is gonna look weird. How do hands look? Bear with me here, I'm doing my best. I actually really like drawing hands, but when they're curled up like that in weird perspectives are loose. Get a little bit of piss off. Sometimes I cheat and I'll, I'll take a picture of my hands and then just use that as a reference. I love the claw nails. So, um, I used to have them pointed sharp, like that sharp, way back when. And it made me feel bad because I had little siblings and um, if we were roughhousing, sometimes I'd scratch them by accident and they'd say like, ah, oh, their nails got you, they gotta shoot their claws, gotta cut those, and I never did. We'll talk about that sometime. I don't have an eraser, so here we are. Yeah. Sorry, I'm 
I'm feeling lazy. Is this sharp enough? Also, well, you can still see. Yeah, I'm, <laughs> I'm drawing in bed because I'm a trash person. I do have a desk, but it's downstairs and that's where my roommate lives. So I don't know, it just makes me uncomfortable. She's like the nicest person in the world, but like, I don't know. Like I said, I've been alone for a while. It's weird being around people sometimes. I have a coworker who shares a desk with me and she says I talk incessantly, which I don't know. If someone else might be offended, but it's kind of true. Oh, that dog is a really cute one. Hmm. Fuck, I think my roommate's hugged me again. If I cut out on you real quick, it's because my roommate's home and I got embarrassed. Like I said, she's like a total sweetheart, but I don't think I'm ready for that. I love drawing skulls though. When I was a kid, I uh, my grandma fell out of a tree, which is a long story, but um, she hit her head and somebody needed to keep an eye on her for a while, so I went over and stayed at her house and. Uh, in her guest room and she had a big cabinet full of animal skulls which i loved and uh grandpa knocked it over one day by accident and they all fell apart and she gave them to me and i got to put them back together and uh, start my own skull collection which i thought was pretty cool and she gave me a uh oh it's weird angle she gave me a uh, dead raccoon one time she was in a big fight with my stepfather at the time, so uh, she didn't actually give it to me. She hung it up from a tree at the end of the driveway, and I went and picked it up, cleaned it out, cleaned the skull. I actually uh, made an art project out of him. I won't go into too much detail. I really, I don't like, I don't know. Maybe I'm just assuming more people know me in real life than I actually do. But I really don't like the idea of being tracked down, you know? But, um, it was a fun project. I did a really good job on it, too. Not like, that sounds bad. Not like the project itself, but like, um, the bones. I was really proud of it. It was my first time, like, cleaning up bones from scratch. Like, I had to scrub it out. And... A little bit of hydrogen peroxide. Um, oops. I used uh, warm water and soap first to uh, get all the fats and oils out and then um, I had to let it soak for a bit. There were some dried bits that needed to come off. And then what did I do? It's been years. Uh, yeah, soap, water. Uh, rinsed it a couple times just to get the last of the uh, actual actual um, soap out and then a uh, little bit of water and hydrogen peroxide let that sit for a bit took everything out the teeth fall out um, so if you ever get into uh, cleaning skulls yourself be prepared for that molars tend to lock in because of the roots and all but um but the actual like the front teeth and the ones like right around here will all kind of <clears throat> plop right out um, just the way that roots are, you know, uh, I recommend white glue, not like, um, nothing fancy. Music again. But, uh, yeah, just, you know, white Elmer's glue, because, you know, it dries clear. You can't see it. And... I don't know. It's about the best effects I've gotten. A lot of people say don't use bleach. A lot of people say do use bleach. It's kind of back and forth. Bleach will make it go yellow over time and it can make the bone itself kind of brittle. But you know, I'm not, I'm not a fancy science person, so I'm okay with that. It looks good enough for what I want it for. And kind of the yellow and looks cool after a while anyway. 
what does that smoke look like? Give me a minute. It's been a really long time. That's not my best work. But he looks like he's got stink waves. I don't know what the neck will look like. Maybe it's just shadows. The nails. I think on the original one, the first one I did look pretty messed up. I don't know, maybe I like that he looks a little bit better. And I always used to draw him with like a big ring of light. Normally I'd be flipping this thing all upside down and everywhere just to get good angles, but I want to give you all a good view. If I can. I can't see my camera. Or my phone. I don't have a camera rig, so I just hung it from the ceiling. Which sounds like a normal person thing. Sorry, I'm really tired. Excuse me. And, um, oh. Who's that? I always want to say Clint. Is it Clint? The lovers, the, the geometric patterns all in yellow. That's what his robes reminded me of. I probably do not have the right guy. I want to say Clint, though. But just like shifting, luminescent, gold, yellow patterns. All over the place. And not so much a robe. So he's kind of a... <laughs> he looks like he's covering a ditty. Sorry. <laughs> not so much as like um, a robe is sort of just like a big cloth. Like more like a mm, I don't know, like a really messy uh what's the bugger Roman uh toga. Like he was halfway putting on like an ionic chitin and just could not be artist, you know. Or maybe he just walked in on him coming out of the shower and that's why he's got a titty out. Poor guy. Ooh, boxes. I think I'm almost done. I don't know how much room my phone has. I'm probably gonna run out of space soon. But I think you kind of get the gist of it, yeah? I'll be honest, it's been really nice looking back to actually sketching something. I used to draw every day. I used to think if I couldn't get a job being an artist, I'd just lose my mind. Maybe, oh. Never mind, that actually makes a lot of sense.
know, I always got like a really good energy out of him. A lot of people, um, like I said, I made a post about how I used to draw him all the time. People kept saying, oh, he's like the, uh, the yellow man, the king, the king in yellow, something like that. Not, um, oh, racist guy, Cthulhu. What the heck's his name now? Is that Renan? I want to say Cronenberg, but I know, I know it's not. Lovecraft, there we are. Not, Love, not Lovecraft, but someone like him wrote about some guy in yellow who looked kind of like him, which kind of threw me for a loop because I, I didn't know who the guy was, and then so I looked him up, and he looked like just like this. Oh, he's got a hole in his chest right there. Where all the black used to still be. I keep saying used to, he's not real. You're not real, right, buddy? Uh, I'd be your friend. You're a good dude. I don't actually know if he's a good dude, but he's got good energy. I like his energy. It's like, uh, I don't know. Like a street sign. I say that not fully understanding what it means. Like helpful, you know? Nothing personal, but just sort of like... I'm being nice, but it's not for you. If that makes sense. But in a kind kind of way? I don't know. I used to hate the color yellow, but now it's like... I like it quite a bit. It's cheerful, right? Domestic and friendly. I don't know why I didn't like it. Um, hmm. I used to really like purple, and purple's like the opposite of yellow, so maybe that's why. It's weird how colors have opposites. I wonder if numbers have opposites. There's probably opposite numbers. So I can understand if like the opposite of five was like negative five. What if it was like an irrational? No, never mind. An irrational number. I can't remember what an irrational number is. I haven't really needed it right this far in my life, so hopefully it's not too important. I think I've painted it. It hasn't come up in my tasks or anything. He's like, uh, hmm. Like, um, morning sunlight through the bottom of a amber whiskey glass to get poetic and shit. Or citrine. I like citrine. My biological dad used to take me to crystal shop sometimes. And I blame him because I like patchouli now. <laughs> but, um, yeah, it's kind of funny because now my, my little sister goes. That's something we have in common. And we didn't grow up together, so it's, it's kind of neat seeing those little things that just come out. We both like bugs, too. I like that she likes bugs, too. And we listen to the same kind of music, which is cool because, like, we're not, I don't know, we never grew up together. It's neat that we just end up sharing so many similar things. She's like 13 years younger than me. So she's like the coolest kid. I worry about her a lot. She's so smart and so pretty and so thoughtful. Like she's the kindest kid and she's dealing with a lot right now. And it's one of those situations where the adults aren't helping, you know? Like one of those many situations where the adults aren't helping. It's like no one's giving her a chance, right? And on one hand, yeah, she's a teenager. And uh, 
Teenagers get into shit and do dumb stuff. That's their job, right? I don't know. I just want to grow up and be happy. Either happy or like miserable and healthy, you know? I want her to get old enough to know better. It's not all her fault, the stuff that's going on either. I don't know. That old's make me tired too. That's all I'm gonna say. I don't wanna. If she finds this, I don't want her to hit me. <laughs> God, that's all I need. Are my siblings still gonna go on that? I think I'm almost done. Not sure how I feel about how it looks, but if I overdo it, it'll just look terrible to me. I don't know what I'm gonna do with this. Probably throw it out. Maybe paint it. I don't think I want to paint it. I don't like painting anything with Sharpie. I don't normally use Sharpie, but I figure this would just be a quick do it all, so. What's something else I forgot about? I used to draw all kinds of weird symbols at school. Probably something I picked up, I don't know, reading comics or watching TV. I wonder if you can hear anything I'm saying right now. I need to get a microphone. I don't think they mean anything. I think they're just fun to draw. I used to want to be a tattoo artist. I still do, someday. But it doesn't pay the bills and I can't really afford to uh, take an apprenticeship right now. Which is a shame. Maybe I'll just get my own tattoo gun. Tattoo gun. I hate it when you say that. Tattoo machine. I'll get a tattoo machine. Be my own. I've got plenty of skin, I can practice. I'll go to prison. Oh, I haven't made up my mind yet. God, I gotta go to bed soon. I'm gonna be cranky and sleep until noon tomorrow. My work hours are weird, I only get a few weekends a month. So when I get a day off, I tend to just go into a coma. Oh, that looks so unbalanced. I'm sorry, bud. You got no legs. I wasn't there last time. I'm gonna give him a little gold necklace.
Maybe I should get some draw card pens. Some acrylic pens. Lord knows I have enough art supplies, but you know, it never hurts to have more. I don't know what day it is. Is it the 14th? It's the 14th. See you again, bud.